And I'm like, what the hell is a Saldano? He goes, oh, I'll put it up over here, and I'll, you know, because I already, I was going to run, a th I think, I was going to run a Randall, and I, you know, he took it off, put the Saldano up. I go, dude, make that thing sound, you know, mean. Crank it up. He he made it sound like Paul Stanley, <laughs> which is typical for this guy. It's Ace Steel, if anybody knows who that is. And, you know, I've known him for years, for decades. And, uh, oh, more of the stories I could tell. <laughs> that guy, wow. We had some good times, man, in the 80s. We definitely did. I know he says a lot of stuff, and a lot of people don't believe him. He was at a lot of things. He just happened, like me. I didn't plan to grow up down the street from Randy Rhodes. It just happened. So, you know, and I didn't ever plan to meet Nikki Six at the liquor store that sold beer to minors, but... So there you go. So anyways, this guy's the same. He was just kind of in the scene. He didn't really play, you know, I don't want to say too much because he's got his own story. I'll let him tell that. But, you know, the things that we did were pretty crazy. And I'm not going to say some of them because it would actually offend a lot of people. <laughs> but he was, uh, I got, did some crazy stuff with that guy. Or he was actually, he wouldn't drink that much. I was the crazy one. And I would just hang out with him and crazy stuff would happen. Like the time me and him and Randy Piper went back to Ace's apartment and got blasted. And Ace didn't have any liquor. And we thought he did. And Ace doesn't remember this, but we pulled out a bottle of something and we decided, we thought it was frozen. I don't know what we were doing. We were both on the floor. We couldn't stand up. I know. I remember that. It was just... But uh, a lot of that stuff. Good times. But anyways, what was I saying about it? Hey, so, so the first time I played in stereo, and I could hear it, because I had a stereo chorus. I just used it for solos to give it some depth. I'd turn it on. And so I'm like, well, we'll just see how this stereo chorus thing works. And so I could hear it. It sounded huge. There's a video of this show, too. It's an early Fatal Attraction before the Fangs and everything. It's about 1986. And if it was set up better, it would have sounded... But I, I got the idea that this friggin' stereo thing is absolutely killer. I'm going to keep doing it. And I did. Thanks to Ace. So I give him some credit for that. <laughs> and we did play on an album. It was a Kiss, uh, America Online Kiss uh, tribute album where a whole bunch of people got together. And he put a thing together called uh, Ace Steel's uh, Gay Disaster, Fabulous Disaster, some, something, you know, very uh, whatever. And I went there and I played bass. I don't think I played any guitar, but I played bass on two songs. I can't remember what they are. Maybe if he sees this, he'll, t he'll say what it is. Anyways, that album did go gold. So he says he's got gold album. Or he has a gold album. He does. He might have an award for it. I don't. But yes, that went gold. And he's on it. I'm on it. There you go. But he says a lot of stuff, and people don't believe him because he's, he, I think he says too much. You know, like I was, you know, there at the birth of the uh, country, and I helped Washington, you know. But he goes a little far sometimes. But hey, you know, people. Everybody embellishes to liven things up, especially if they have no life. But he has a life. I have a life, but I'm just saying, some other people. <laughs>
So, I like this guitar, but I'm going to have to wait a day or two for it to settle down, and I'll tune it down, and it'll sound more like Mick, right? Like that song, but I won't play it since no one seems to rem know what it is. <laughs> just, I don't know, that song. I'm just playing from memory. So there you go. The Mick Mars guitar. Should I put tape on it? Tell me. Comment. You did a very good job on the last one. And subscribe. I'm getting up there. But like I said, and this is true, I've been talking to a few guys that are way have way more subscribers of me and that are making money see that's why I'm saying I need to get to a thousand because they're gonna start changing stuff in fact they're telling guitar players to stop and to do something else because there's a it's a flood of guitar players playing or showing demonstrating fixing that's why I decided to tell stupid stories or whatever you know, stuff that I did or went through, blah, 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 you know, I don't say it, but stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that there is actually, YouTube is closing down and trying to get rid of all these guitar players, and who knew, like the old man, once you see him play, and he's just ripping on you know flying high again note for note and he looks like he's moses coming down from the hill with the, the, the plates and apparently he's a religious guy some guy sent me some you know stuff that 
that he's got other videos saying stuff. That's cool. I'm religious too. Uh, but once you see stuff like that and you see that other guy, Stevie T, who was the fastest three finger, so it doesn't make me feel bad because he rarely uses his pinky, but the guy shreds. He's got a 20 string guitar. 20 strings! And he's like, boop, 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 you know, mess around. And then he starts shredding. And he's using everything. So then you're like, okay, there's a guy who's about 30 something, about my son's age. I just gave up a lot up there, but I have a 34 year old son. This guy's around that age. He's got millions. And he's got bunches. He's got a whole bunch of different, and, and most of them are Canadian fit, uh, companies and stuff. Because he's Canadian, so that's one thing against him. Because his head does this when he talks. You know, South Park. But he's got stuff. He's making his living doing this. And he's got a guy that edits. And I don't. And uh, I, thank goodness for a guy that told me the other day that I was showing things that I shouldn't have been showing. And uh, I had to cut them all out of my videos. But he says, dude, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I went and looked. I'm like, holy crap. Thank you for showing me what I was doing wrong there. Bad. It wasn't bad. It was just not good for, you know, me and uh, privacy. Because I, you know, everybody knows I live in California part-time and Utah part-time. I go back and forth. Or I go to Vegas, the bad area. I just go. I say, you know, I'm, hey, I'm single now. And I have no plans on getting married unless there's somebody out there that falls onto my head. Literally, that's if a girl falls onto me, I will marry her. I am so done with marriage. My last one was so horrible. And I don't remember the last two years because they put me in a coma, you know, for the last month or so, I was in induced coma with propothal, and that is called milk of amnesia because it wipes your memory out, totally wipes it out. I remember the accident, but I don't remember anything for two years after that. I remember moving from Valencia to Utah, and that's it, which is good because that was a happy time. <laughs> Like 2005 to 2007-ish, it was a good time. So that's all I remember. I don't remember the really bad stuff, but, you know, that's 10 years ago. So I think she's been married twice already, my uh, other ex-wife. First one I don't really talk to, but, you know, she's got a husband. I don't tend to talk to wives that have husbands, <laughs> you know, because they have a new life. But that's that. Way too per too much personal stuff going on now. All right, so I'm cutting this video probably in half. Uh, there you go, man. This is this. I'll uh, tune it down, and it'll sound more Mickey. McMars. But this is a good guitar. See, it's set neck and everything. It's I love these guitars. Nobody can tell me that there's a Gibson out there that's... This is just as good. I don't care what anybody says. Here we go again. This is one that a, a guy, he's, he's well, I don't know, retired or retarded, I don't know. He's making these relics. This. I put the that on there. But he actually mounted, he screwed this. This is screwed all the way through. I didn't know these holes in the back were the screws. And then he, he put junk on it, so... When my tech took this out, it cracked the back of the guitar right here. So now I had to make it look more relic-y by putting color on there. Because right here, these two things, those are the screws coming through the body. Holy crap. And so he puts in a fake Seymour Duncan. So I'm like, screw it. I'll just get a real one, Invader. Put it in here. It sounds good. I'm not going to play it for you today. And, you know, he did all this stuff. You know, put these little skull things. It's cool. You know. 
see skulls and that and the relicking but uh you know now it sounds killer but uh you do not do stuff like that he obviously didn't know what he was doing but uh yeah i got this for like very cheap and he says he's sold uh 200 of them so i'm like oh my gosh but they're mostly to kids like i i'm thinking so that's that. Thank you. Keep uh, on subscribing and commenting. And I'm going to put this up on YouTube. I found, finally found the, this is a straight. So the the sound guy for the diary tour, his he had a tape and gave it to his son. He would always give a tape. And this is why I know Sharon is full of crap because he said, Every night, and he had a, it wasn't a cassette, it was a quarter inch stereo, and then he'd make tapes for Randy and Tommy and Sharon, or Sharon and Randy and Tommy in that order. They always wanted to hear what it sounded like, what it was doing. And so this is straight from the board, his tape, his cassette copy that he gave to his son, and then... I made a copy so one generation to digital now I think that this is already out there but this is gonna be the uh, best sounding I think I don't know I just found the tape the other day I gave it to my friend he digitized it 